بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يو اكسلنسي ناصر بوريتا مينستر اوف فورن افيرز افريكان كوبريشن اند موروكان اكسباتريتس اند تشيرسون اوف ذا بي اس سي فور مارش اكسلنسيز مينسترز اوف فورن افيرز اوف ذا بيس اند سيكوريتي كونسل اكسلنسي امباسادر بانكولا ديو كوميشنر فور بوليتيكال افيرز بيس اند سيكوريتي يو اكسلنسيز ليدي جنتلمان ثانك يو تشير فور يور امبورتنت ريماركس It is clear artificial intelligence is having a transformative impact globally, and our continent also stands at the cusp of this revolution. With AI holding immense promise for advancing development and solving persistent challenges from boosting agriculture to improving healthcare and education, we have entered into a unique time of the human experience. But more critically, in peace, security, and governance, artificial intelligence presents organizations such as the African Union and our member states a strategic tool that could, put, that could potentially revolutionize our ability to predict and prevent conflicts, counter terrorism, enhance security operations, and make governance more effective across the continent. However, with the opportunities that uh, AI brings, there are still grave challenges. Today, in Africa, we still experience threats such as armed conflict, terrorism, corruption, and entrenched inequalities. And with the artificial intelligence ability to spread rapidly, the introduction of complex ethical and security concerns now exist. This in the context of its potential misuse by non-state actors, cyber criminals, and terrorist groups, a phenomenon we are already witnessing. Left unchecked, AI will amplify these threats, exploiting disinformation, cyber attacks, and even autonomous weapons. Our response must be to pursue a balanced approach, one that maximizes AI's benefits while mitigating its risks. Although artificial intelligence may seem in its formative phase, it is crucial for Africa to take an active role in shaping its governance. We must ensure artificial intelligence continues to be used for peace and stability rather than as a new tool for conflict among states. In this regard, I'm commending the PSC for taking proactive actions in, and including artificial intelligence issues in the agenda of the Council. The first meeting of the Council on AI was in June 2024 under the chairmanship of Uganda and called for the establishment of the AU Artificial Intelligence Advisory Group on AI. Impact on Peace, Security and Governance. Commissioner Bankole has informed me that the group has started working and it had its first meeting in March this year. This is a tremendous progress that we need to capitalize on. Your Excellencies, Artificial in Intelligence currently plays a pivotal role in preventing conflicts and sustaining peace. Advanced early warning systems powered by artificial intelligence now analyze vast amounts of data, social media trends, satellite imagery, and economic indicators are being used to detect early signs of instability. By identifying rising tensions, hate speech, or extremist mobilization in real time, AI is enabling authorities to intervene before violence erupts. Similarly, predictive analytics is now forecasting where conflicts are likely to flare up based on social political factors. We also see the immense benefits of AI in peacekeeping and mediation. This has been with some artificial intelligence tools being used to map the interest of and grievances of different conflict parties. Such tools can now assist peace mediators in choosing effective solutions. If used effectively, the integration of artificial intelligence into peace efforts will allow us to respond faster and smarter to prevent violence across the continent. Your Excellencies, terrorism remains one of Africa's greatest challenges, but AI offers new opportunities to counter this destabilizing threat to many of our countries. Artificial intelligence-powered surveillance tools can track terrorist movements, analyze suspicious financial transactions, and detect radicalization patterns on social media platforms. Today, AI is also transforming financial intelligence tracking as we observe 
terrorist groups move to using digital currencies and informal banking networks to finance their activities. Through artificial intelligence-driven forensic analysis, illicit cash flows can identify abnormal financial behaviors to disrupt the financing of terrorist operations. However, as many member states know too well, artificial intelligence can introduce security risks. Terrorist groups and extremist organizations are already leveraging artificial intelligence malicious purposes. AI-generated deep fake videos can be used for radicalization, spreading extremist propaganda, or impersonating political figures to create confusing and, and confusion and unrest. These risks demand a proactive approach to artificial intelligence governance, ensuring that artificial intelligence remains a tool for protecting citizens rather than a weapon in the hands of adversaries. Excellencies to fully harness artificial intelligence for peace and security while mitigating its risks, allow me to suggest a few actions member states can pursue. These are the need to develop strong AI regulations, strengthen counterterrorism, artificial intelligence cap capabilities, enhance regional and international cooperation, invest in capacity building, and monitor artificial intelligence societal impact. It is important to task the newly established African Union Artificial Intelligence Advisory Group on Artificial Intelligence, impact on peace, security, and governance to provide technical support to these points I have just mentioned, in particular on developing strong artificial intelligence regulation. Let me conclude by recognizing the potential of uh, AI in transforming peace, security, and governance across Africa. For this to happen, Africa must embrace this opportunity with foresight. In doing so, we can deter and also disrupt those who seek to use artificial intelligence to create instability from within and outside the continent. It, it is also, it means also, our first line of defense must be collaboration across all levels, government to government, regional organizations, civil society, and the private sector. Collectively, I believe we can use artificial intelligence for peace and prosperity. I thank you.